Hello and welcome to the final Q&A of the day. I'm a little bit nervous. For those of you that attended the uh, Buffy Bar Pass Live Q&A yesterday, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Uh, can you please welcome to stage Nicholas Brendan and Emma Caulfield. Crossover. Crossover. I actually know because I can't stand. 
I don't like The Walking Dead, I don't like zombies, and I don't like people that whine. To me, it's like that show. People that whine and zombies. And again, I have this thing where I'm like, if the, if, if, if the bad person, if like the monster um, is coming towards you, and I have time to actually call my mom, who I love, but you know, she's a little winded, you know, she likes to talk. And still I'm looking at the thing that's coming to me, like, that, you know? Or I can make a shopping list, you know? It's not, no, I don't like zombies. No, it's, it's about, not a zombie. It's about, it's about the complacency that you fall into around those monsters. So that's the real oh, you get lazy and that's yeah. your brains? That's what I always have. Yeah, there's nothing sexy about zombies at all. I mean, and there's no reason they just eat brains. Someone in Portland did a study once, I don't know who it was, but someone, yeah, someone in Portland did a thing about, depending on what the, sort of the climate is, and this is just the U.S., and the sort of, just the tone of the population, if they're happy or scared or whatever, um, that either vampires or zombies are more popular. And so if they are, if people are really scared, <laughs> <laughs> zombies are really popular. And if they feel confident, vampires are confident. What? At least I have a real answer. <laughs> Okay, let's get from the First of all, I just want to say, as a fan... Speak up, I can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to see the camaraderie between you is very much... Even though you're different, as let me say, to your characters, the camaraderie between you is similar, only without the sex, you know? <laughs> but, uh, but I just want to say, uh, as far as we know, <laughs> uh, I just wanted to ask, uh, obviously Buffy's one of those shows that remains influential to this day, and a lot of current shows will have been inspired by it. I was just wondering, in recent memory, have you seen anything and you thought maybe, like, it was, you think, you recognised it as being, like, a Buffy homage or a, it oh, yeah. happened because of it, anything like that, yeah? Uh, sorry for that question. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, I want, to be honest with you, I mean, if you look at, like, anything, like, fuck, I mean, Charm, I haven't seen Charm, but, like, anything that's going to be female, like, alias, even, yeah, to that extent. So, um, and then, like, Supergirl, I think there's a lot, like, Joss really opened up, uh, the dialogue, you know, a woman can be, can be strong. Um, so. What was the X-Files? Yeah, but Jillian Anderson, that was a, that was a David Gunner job. What? Is that not true? I think you smell. <laughs> Don't know the words. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to what I did, and then you guys sing her part. And shame her at the same time. I lied, I said it's easy. I tried, but there's these fears I can't quell. Is she looking for a pot of gold? I look at when I come home. Well, our lives become stressful if I'm never that successful. Am I crazy? Am I marrying a demon? We can really raise the demon and make a marriage to hell. So thank God I'll have to go. Emma Coffin. She's definitely going to have to be kind of sick. Same? Question mark? Where's the option? Did you think? That you, you know, the first time you sang that, that you'd still be singing it like years later in front of what you sing it. No way. Well, 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 I, well I, I don't think we were like thinking. You don't think about that, really. You know, you just kind of. I didn't think that I was going to be doing that. I think somebody's just requested that. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 oh, we'll get it done. Yeah. We will get it done. It's a given. It, it will happen. Right. I don't, just, but I don't, uh, I didn't know at the time that the show was, uh, what it was or what it ever would become. I mean, we didn't have social media really. We didn't have any real way of gauging what was happening. Um, and certainly the trajectory that it, it went on years later, it's, are, I think, even more popular now than it was when it started, which is so weird and great. It's just, 
have and how much information you all know about it. And there's like, it's like you are actually writing it or you are on it. I mean, it really does put me to shame. Like, I don't know. I don't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. A few things. A few. But otherwise, it's just a big happy blur for the most part. Right, okay, I'm skipping your thing. I want to talk about. I just think about what props that were used over the years. Did you ever get a chance to keep any of the props, or did you, were you ever tempted to keep any of the props? I'm thinking particularly with your locket, for instance. Or, you know. I didn't get to keep anything, no. No, I mean, I, uh, I, I kept, well, I didn't keep it because I gave it away, but um, my eye patch. On the last day, I had, I had, I had everybody sign it, oh. and then I gave it to somebody. Well, I, I wish I still had that, you know? Um, yeah, so, the, yeah, just, just that. And then also, too, uh, when I was a um, vampire vendor, I had a really great leather coat from Barney's. It was beautiful. And I had it for two or three years, because I stole it from Seth. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was in Tennessee, and I'm like, and, and I'm, I was like boarding the plane, and I'm like, shit, where's my coat? And I'm like, but I'm on the plane, I'm like, well, what the fuck am I doing? I love that coat. So what I did was I walked in the wardrobe and stole the other one. <laughs> <laughs> and then I actually gave it to a, a friend of mine named Rice. It's hilarious. I didn't have any. I didn't have any. Yeah, I mean, that's the Xander. I just style it here. I wasn't really stealing Xander's clothes. <laughs> I mean, if. There was some actual fake money around set, maybe I could have done it. I did actually, this is going to be awkward, but I did steal some of the work. He was asking for it. 